Hey guys, it is Tyler here with some Assassin's Creed Origins content. This video is going to be some of my first impressions. It's kind of like a completely spoiler-free, so far, review in progress sort of thing. I've played about maybe 10 hours of Assassin's Creed Origins at this point, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. So I'm just going to kind of give my overview of thoughts so far in terms of some of the general gameplay story elements without actually telling you any of the story stuff or spoiling anything major. I won't talk about modern day at all because if you haven't played it, I want you to be, you know, have no expectations, I guess, going in and have no sorts of like surprise. Uh, I want you to be surprised. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's get right into it. So first of all, I guess the most important things to talk about gameplay and the way the game works. Now, the biggest thing I've found with Assassin's Creed Origins is the fact that it's a big learning curve. And when I say that, it is a completely different game than most Assassin's Creed fans have experienced before. It's brand new reboot start to the franchise in terms of gameplay. For the first couple of hours, you know, you're trying to learn how the new controls work, you're trying to figure out how the gameplay works, how the side activities work, how the combat works, like there is a steep sort of learning curve. And I can see how maybe that could frustrate some Assassin's Creed fans that are kind of set in their ways and really want it to be and feel like past Assassin's Creed games. Well, this just isn't the case. It really feels like a game that is completely brand new, something I've never experienced anything like it before. It doesn't feel like Assassin's Creed. Whilst having some hints and familiarities, of course, to Assassin's Creed, there's so much newness to it in terms of the feel of it and freshness to the gameplay and the side activities and the way everything works, it feels polished. That's a big major thing. Now, don't get me wrong, the only kind of negative things I have to talk about, there's some frame rate drops here and there, there's a couple little glitches here and there. Nothing major that I've experienced that's kind of taken me far out of the game. I've felt pretty immersed the whole time and I've thoroughly enjoyed it so far. Now the combat, everyone's been talking about the combat for so long in the build up to this game's release. I really enjoyed the combat. It's actually challenging, it's fun, and I've tried to battle some high level enemies and it's hard. Like I'm only playing on normal, I think, on my first playthrough. And it's challenging, don't get me wrong. It isn't easy when you're battling high level enemies and it's hard to learn. But when you start to figure it out, you start to feel like a bit of a badass and, and have a lot of fun with it, I think. So, like I said, there is that steep learning curve there to figure that all out. But eventually, the more you play and the more time goes on, you get into it. When it comes to Bayek and this storyline, I must say, Bayek is fucking awesome. Excuse my French. Elise is here. Because he is just, I'm like, the best way I described it, I tweeted this out when I was playing it last night, and it's that Bayek is the first Assassin's Creed character, probably since Edward Kenway, if not Ezio himself, that I'm playing as this guy walking around, I'm like, I feel like a badass, you know what I mean? Like, you're walking the streets of, you know, Egypt, and I'm thinking, I feel like a badass, I feel cool, I feel like I'm playing a cool character, a cool figure. It's a fun time just to play as Bayek and walk around and kind of free roam around. The side activities are immersive. There's so many of them. Not all of them are that exciting, but there's a variety enough and they're challenging enough that they kind of get you into it, especially when you just kind of want to stop in between missions, whether you want to level up, get better gear, craft some more equipment, things of that nature. I'm having a lot of fun doing that and getting lost in it. And with the world being so massive, it's very easy when you're moving between areas in story missions to get caught up in amongst side activities or just trying to finish this bandit camp or this uh, guard camp or something or you do just this side quest for some local merchant that needs help getting equipment or getting crafting materials or you're trying to solve some sort of murder that's happened or just anything that you stumble across as well as of course I've, I've gone through the Hyperdome where you do the races and things like that. So there are those cool side activities that you kind of find yourself going through as well. It really does feel a lot more polished compared to Assassin's Creed Unity and Syndicate. That's the biggest thing. You can tell the year off gave them a lot of time to add those little things in, whether you're just standing idle and Sinu flies down or when you stand next to like a pyre, you're in a tomb, your torch just automatically lights it. Just those little details that you get caught up in, as well as the photo mode, that I know heaps of people are just stopping and, 
and checking out to see how it looks and how it works. That's really, really exciting to see. The storyline's intriguing also. Like I said, I love Bayek. I love Aya. She's really cool as well. And just seeing their dynamic together, seeing how he's working through this storyline, I am intrigued by the story. I'm not full on like, oh shit, I want to see what happens. Because it does feel like a standard, in some ways, Assassin's Creed story, but it feels like there is a bit of a mystery here, and I'm not... I'm not really sure what they're trying to do, which has got me intrigued because there is the mystery to this plot line that I'm enjoying a lot also, but I really am just into Bayek as a character and helping his motivations, which is very exciting. So overall, loving Assassin's Creed Origins, ladies and gentlemen, I've had a great time so far. So without spoiling anything, in the comments please guys, let me know what your thoughts are on Assassin's Creed Origins, just so people can enjoy this video without freaking out over spoilers no modern day spoilers nothing please be kind in the comments ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this and uh if you haven't got a south Creed origins yet i'd i'd be getting onto that as soon as possible if you haven't bought it already or if you're waiting for it good luck to you on the rest of your wait and enjoy ladies and gentlemen assassin's creed origins